everybody. Welcome to another live Facebook art tutorial. It's going to be a fun time today. So what you're going to need is you're going to need a pair of scissors. On the description um, in the beginning on my event page I put that you would need an exacto knife but you don't need one, so I took it off. I mean, you could use, if you have it, definitely you can use an X-Acto knife, but you don't need it. Uh, a, a pencil, some markers, so you could color your stuff, or color pencils or crayons, uh, some double-sided sticky tape or regular tape, and um, a piece of cardstock paper, a whole piece, and a penny. You're gonna need a penny. We're going to be making these little um, penny tops, penny spinners. Now, I'm, I'm having problems. My fingers aren't really wanting to work too well today. But, all right. So, to start off, you're going to need your cardstock. Oh, also, you know what? Um, it really helps, and I did not put this on there. If you have a DVD or a CD... I forgot about that or a cup something with a big a big uh, round like bottom that you could trace something that you can you can trace the bottom of just something big I had a CD so I used a CD which is what I'm going to use now again and um, I'm going to take my paper and you're going to flip it in half so fold it in half I mean not flip it fold it fold it in half this makes it so much easier. This is what I tell people to do when they make when they do mask making at the museum. Fold the paper first and then fold your mask template over it or whatever and then trace one side. It works so much better because then all you have to do is um, is cut it, cut one side out. And uh, the person who showed me this, her name is Sonia, she used to work at the museum and Sonia showed me that and it made such a world of difference. Okay, so you're gonna take your pencil that you have and you're going to put your, I, li I don't like to do it right in the middle of the paper because why do that? That just wastes all this paper when you could put your, whatever you're tracing on the edge, right? And then you don't, then you also don't have to cut as much. All right, so I'm gonna put mine kind of on the fold because I want it, I want it right there on the fold. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my pencil and you're just gonna follow it all the way around trace your CD or cup or whatever you have okay whatever you have to trace there we go and then in the middle wherever you're if you're using the CD or DVD which makes it a lot easier because it's already the hole is already there and even um, put a line right there See how I did that? Put a line in the middle of the circle, and that way you know exactly where to cut your hole for your penny to stick through, right? And then the next step uh, I like to do is I like to take um, a piece of, a small piece of tape, not a big one, just a small one, open it up and put my finger, you know, feel where it's, where you're on the other side. So take somewhere around there okay and just take your finger like this so you know where and then put your tape right there where that's at and what ha what this does is when you push it back down when you cut it makes it to where your paper isn't moving all over the place so you have an uneven cut on the other side right now I, I learned that myself so I'm going to do it again on this side so I have it even now my paper's not going to move when I cut it. And then the next step is to cut it out. So we're going to cut that out. You could be thinking while you're cutting about what kind of design you're going to put on your paper. I'll spin mine again so you can see what it looks like. Try to stay on these lines. Um, I did mine around the whole thing. You could do spirals. If you did a spiral, then it would look like a spiral when you spin it, which is really cool. You could do whatever decoration you want. That's up to you. Now look, see how this isn't moving because I taped it together. So much better. Now if you wanted, you could um, decorate both sides of the paper. I'm only gonna decorate one today, 
but you could do both sides if you, maybe I'll decorate too, I don't know. That way, if you flip it over, you have a different top on the other side, a different penny spinner. Okay, now I have that done. You put that aside because you could maybe use that for something else, maybe. Oh my goodness, I'm so thirsty today. Okay, and then what you have once you have that done, you want to decorate um decorate your your um your circle. So decide what colors you want on it. I'm just gonna try to do all, all colors, and this time maybe maybe I'll do a spiral. Partially anyway. And just decorate it however you want. You could put pictures on it. You could draw a little scenery. Or you could just do a little abstract thing like I'm doing. Well, my hand is not steady today, that's for sure. All right. I like to leave white on the um, white spaces on it because it kind of breaks it up a little bit when it's turning. You, you could do polka dots, whatever you want. I hope this looks okay. All right, see how this one looks? See how I did that one? Look, see how, what it looks like when I spin it. Can you see that? That one looks pretty cool, yeah? Okay, and then um, just keep decorating. So keep putting some things on there. I'll do blue next. I'm trying to get to my chat window so I can see what's going on. I hope everybody's doing good today. Here in the Midwest, in St. Louis, I hear it is supposed to be extremely hot like 100 degrees. I know there's other places out there that's a lot more hot than this place, but, you know. All right, let me turn down my volume, and now I can see my chat. There we go. So that. Yeah, maybe I'll do the other side too, because why not? Now, originally, I said to have an X-Acto knife, and if you're a kid doing this project, you definitely, if you have an X-Acto knife, you want your grown-up to do the X-Acto-ing for you. It's probably not a word, but whatever. All right, keep going here. Okay, there's that side. And then, the um, reason why I said you don't really necessarily have to have one is because you can try to kind of fold it and use your scissors to cut that line that we drew on there, right? Just try not to bend it too much because that's your, this is your spinner. You gotta be really easy with it, you know? Once you get, hey, once you get a little cut in there, then you can pretty easily stick your scissors in to cut the rest. Ooh, I hope this works. If you don't have a penny, if you don't have a penny, you could use any any kind of coin would probably work. Um, I'm going to decorate the other side. That's what I'm going to do here. Decorate on the... Um, there we go. Maybe some purple. Okay. Some more pink. Ooh, that purple smells like the fake grape smell. Ooh, it smells like it smells like that grape, um, that bubba chew, is that what it's called? That chewing gum? Stuff was so good. 
and the red tastes like not real cherries, but it tastes like, or smells like fake cherry. Not taste, it smells. I've never eaten this. Don't eat these. <laughs> these are my, if anybody's ever watched my videos before, you know that my, one of my favorite markers are these Mr. Sketch markers. I talk about them all the time because they are so good. They smell so great. Okay, and then um, you're going to need a penny or a nickel or quarter or whatever you have. So get in your coin purse and grab your things out, right? I wonder, I have a nickel. I cut the hole kind of big, so I think maybe the nickel might look better or maybe a quarter. Let's get a quarter out just in case. This might be too big. Okay. Now, okay, now, uh, Nope, that quarter won't work. Let's try the nickel. The nickel for me works good. If you have a nickel or penny, whatever, and then you just stick that in there, okay? So you stick it in that in that little slit that you created, and then uh, you spin it. That's it. You just spin it. Oh, this one works better than my other one. And it works great because we already put that tape in the inside of there, so it taped it. It taped it together so you didn't have to worry about using hot glue or anything. Oops. Okay, let's see what it looks like on the other side. Eh. Oh, well, the red kind of moves. A little bit. I don't, I don't know about you, but I get to doing these, and, I, and they get addicting to just turn them. It's like satisfying to get it to do what it's supposed to do. <laughs> anyway, if you want any information on City Museum, you can go to citymuseum.org and um, all the information on ticket sales, when we're open, our hours, uh, and any kind of events or anything. I'm not sure if we're doing events yet or not. Um, and also, uh, Facebook, like our Facebook page. If you wanna see any videos that we've done in the past, you can find all of our videos on Facebook and on our citymuseum.org page. And until tomorrow, I'll be on again at 11 o'clock tomorrow morning to do another fun project. Come back and see me tomorrow, and we'll do something again. See you later!